Hi ma'am. Good morning. Ma'am, my name is Siddharth. So ma'am, I have been working in an IT company for past five years. So I got kind of fed up with the work I was doing. So I plan to change my career into something which I would love. So I plan to move into literature field. So right now I am doing my MA in literature. So ma'am, I just wanted to know from you whether it will be possible for a person like me to update my career in literature. I just wanted a guidance from you. like whether i could excel in this field or not so i just want your advice on that ma'am hello siddharth i'm so glad that you came to me to ask about careers actually this is a confusion that many students have what career to choose after english literature studies because teaching is not the only option because of this problem that students face i we have actually already made a book on various careers for english literature students see this is the book after literature what a diy book on careers for literature students you can keep this book you know there are worksheets here you can uh, checklist you can mark in the checklist and find out what you are good at uh, and this will help you to improve your skills and get ready for careers tell me do you enjoy reading books are you already familiar with literature Well from childhood I have read some light books but I have not read much of literature but I like reading That's good wow and how is your MA course going are you enjoying it I'm trying to cope up with the syllabus like I'm trying to read books from the syllabus and all but yeah it's going pretty good man Actually Siddharth anybody who studies English literature looks for a teaching job but teaching is not the only option for an English literature student You being an IT professional you can take up some web based careers. There are so many web based careers relating to writing, marketing etc. If you have a good command over language, if you can understand human beings and interact with them properly, then I think this is the best career for you. Digital marketing is a new area that is growing exponentially these days. digital marketing only means marketing through digital media and this requires technological skills also there is also content writing content writing is developing content for advertisements or books or uh, marketing and promotional materials etc all these requires your skill your interest and some training and experience actually in online platforms like udemy or um coursera etc there are so many courses in digital marketing content writing etc that you can do uh, you must have heard of affiliate marketing and uh, search engine optimization obviously you might know it better than me these are all very important for professionals these days every institute every company needs it you should look up how to do seo how to do social media management etc and it can become your amazing career yeah maybe i think i should search for a job in that sector yeah many people who are equipped for a career do not know how to actually get a job that is a very important thing you should just google search and find out institutes groups etc that are related to your profession or to the area that you are interested in make yourself a very good professional cv and put it in linkedin you should have a very good social media presence that is very important and many times jobs will come to you or you should keep applying approaching institutes and uh, companies and after you build a network then it will be very easy to get a job Yeah ma'am that's interesting ma'am so uh, i've been already doing such kind of thing for many many years now so is there anything related to literature that i can do much more specific to literature oh literature you want something to do with literature well do you write well are you interested in writing hmm i think i have normal writing skills maybe i have to improve hmm if you're good at writing content writing is a good area copywriting is another area you can also uh, be a creative writer but it's not easy to immediately become a creative writer you should have a flair for it what about publishing industry uh, i would like to know more about publishing careers 
yeah there are so many very good opportunities in the publishing sector you're right um editor is something that is very much needed in all publishing companies to be an editor you should first be a proofreader you should be very good at language of course you should know the conventions of proofreading you should also have some experience in proofreading if you want you can work with both the three for some time mm, not only with publishing companies but also with newspaper companies magazines you can get a job as an editor there are courses in editing also that you can do you can get a, a certificate probably a pg diploma you can search online and find institutes that offer pg diploma courses or even online even in very big international universities you can be a student online check out udemy coursera etc you know siddharth to be a writer or an editor you have to first do something what is that writing you should also get some practice editing other people's works there are so many um ways in which you can do it linkedin is the best opportunity put yourself there i i am an editor i have experience i am looking for editing consignments like that if you put yourself online a lot of opportunities will come in search for you like that if you put yourself online you will get a lot of opportunities i would always say when you embark on a new career you should start with voluntary work don't look at the money part first and foremost first and foremost give importance to experience and exposure and then hone your skills and when you become an expert in your field when you become really good at your work then the best opportunities you will get another area is translation related to writing do you know many languages no just english and my native language i asked because there is a lot of opportunity these days for people who know uh, german spanish chinese etc yeah i have always wanted to learn german i can tell you one thing siddharth there are so many opportunities in the field of hr uh, development sector relationship management these are very important areas in multinational corporations in government sector in educational institutions yeah hr is a family area i think that's probably something which i could do well you should have effective communication skills you should have a pleasing personality which you already have and uh, some crisis management skills it comes with experience Actually lots of my students have found jobs as PROs public relations managers and even in uh, UN UNESCO etc UN related careers Google related careers for humanity students like that if you search you will come across a lot of opportunities I have heard that Microsoft is also hiring a lot of people from humanities What about media are you interested in media Media you mean journalism So isn't that a completely different area for me? No no not only journalism there are so many other media related jobs starting from writing and marketing also well social media content creation is one uh, copywriting for the advertisement sector is another then media marketing is also there but ma'am i started studying literature due to my passion for literature but uh, what about literature related careers you know like novels poetry and all those things so just wanted to know more about that a person like me can explore oh then you will have to explore teaching related careers also research related careers to be a teacher in a school you need a bed degree have you ever been a teacher before yeah i have taken tuition for some students during my college days and all but it was more on the technical side that's my experience with teaching then probably school teaching is good there are many international schools schools abroad also many students of mine have found work in uh, educational institutions and schools in africa in other asian countries maldives etc uh, i don't think i'll be able to handle small children well teaching has changed a lot uh teaching is not only the traditional teaching it is related to media it is related to uh, multimodal approaches you know today's generation needs so many things including technology in teaching it is not only standing in a classroom and lecturing 
Well, for college related teaching, NET is what you should pass, National Eligibility Test. It is conducted by NTA. Oh, I have heard a lot about NET exams. I have heard from my friends that it's really difficult to pass. And I have actually heard about you from them. They have been following your books for a long time for the preparation. Oh, okay. I know uh, many students have cleared NET with our material. Uh, there are lots of videos that I put in YouTube. You can just watch them to know how to prepare for NET. Otherwise, we have a full set of books also, which will help you and also a complete course for NET. If you're interested, I can give you the details. But ma'am, I'm a beginner. I don't think I'll be able to teach literature. How about language teaching? Well, you don't really have to think like that. Literature teaching is not that difficult. Once you study literature and really enjoy it, you can be an awesome teacher. But if you want to know about language teaching, yes, that is a very good area. Uh, there are also many exams that you can pass in order to be a language teacher. There are courses and exams like CELTA and DELTA. You can just Google search, you can get the details. There are exams like IELTS, TOEFL, GRE, GMAT. Those exams also have a language component. Then OET, then TKT. These exams, if you pass, you can become trainers for it. And there are so many opportunities for just communication trainers. You can even start your own institute for communication training. People always need it. Oh ma'am, I, I never thought I had these much opportunities in the literature field. I think this is really a nice choice that I have taken. Oh, thank you so much, Sid. I loved talking about all these careers. I'm sure this kind of uh, advice is necessary for all literature students because everybody is like worried about and confused about what career to choose and how to prepare for it. I am telling you there is no need to worry. You just choose a couple of careers. This is how to go about it. You choose two or three careers and try it out. Get yourself ready for at least one or two. Start uh, building your own network, meet people and try out, uh, you know, working in these sectors and then pick one and become an expert in that. Just as simple as that. I'm really glad that we talked about this. Wish you all the very best. Don't be confused. Be focused and be ready to do hard work. That's all you need. All the very best to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir.